Hello and welcome to a continuing West Coast edition of Antiques Roadshow here in wonderful Fresno, California. Let's check in with our appraisers to see what's going on. Well, Anto, welcome to the program. Uh, please, my name is not Anto. Antranik, please. Okay. Sorry about that, sir. Okay, all right. Now, what can you tell me about this item? Just plain masterpiece. You know, you see it. Yes. And it seems to be a uh, painting of some sort. Oh, painting of Mount Ararat. Okay. It's a holy mountain. It's mm -hmm. in the Bible. No joke. You know Noah's Ark story in the Bible? No. No? <laughs> you don't know Bible, eh? <laughs> you know Playboy. <laughs> anyway, beautiful work. Beautiful. Wonderful. Okay. Well, yes, as you said, this is Mount Ararat. Uh, mm. It is a national symbol uh -huh. of Armenia. Uh -huh. Although it did fall to the Turks after a Soviet-mediated peace treaty back in the early 1920s. Mm, I like it, uh, now, uh, what else can you tell me about the painting here? What can I tell you? It's a wonderful masterpiece. What, what shall mm -hmm. I tell you more? You're the expert, mm -hmm. you know? Yes. Well, mm -hmm. sir, I just want to get better understanding of the piece before I actually began to speak about it. Huh. Uh, what do you want to know? The artist? Mm -hmm. Well, yes. Can you tell me who, who the artist is also? Can you tell me how you acquired this piece? Oh, okay. Now, the artist is the great Mardiros Saryan, great painter, mm -hmm. great artist. Okay. He was a good friend of my grandfather, Avedik Isagyan, great poet. Mm -hmm. From my grandfather came to my father, mm -hmm. from my father came to me, and someday, soon, he's going to go to my son. He's a son of a bitch, he's lucky mm -hmm. to get a masterpiece like this. Okay. All right, yeah? Well, you did mention that yeah. the artist's name was... <clears throat> Mardiro Sarian. Yeah, Mardiro Sarian. Well, I'm looking at the autograph here, and it seems as if it is by a person by the name of Ardashes Mardirosian. Oh, <clears throat> don't, don't look at it. He had it different names. Okay. No, yeah. Now, the date of the painting is relatively recent. Uh, I also wanted to mention that, that the market for paintings of Mount Ararat is so flooded now that the market value, the going rate at auction time, Huh. would be uh, much lower than what it should be. Tell me, tell me, how much, how much? Okay. How much? Well, I wanted to, well, I wanted to comment on a few more things before huh. I actually gave you okay. an estimate. All right. I notice here that the, the frame is, is spray painted. Somehow. Oh, I put 24 karat gold all over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, made it more expensive. Okay. Well, by, by, hmm. Doing something like that by altering the original, uh, you're essentially detracting from the value, and basically because you're 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 removing it from its authenticity. Oh Lord! Mm -hmm. Now, one more thing I wanted to comment on was mm. the actual condition of the entire piece. Uh, yeah. It seems as if it's been kept in a garage for quite some time. If you notice here, you a have garage, I'm a, <clears throat> in a nice place, up shelf. Kids never came close. If they come close to it, they would up the ass. Mm -hmm. right. Never, okay. never. Okay. Yeah. Well, there are still a few uh, few other things wrong with this. You have some stains here, also some 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 curves and some some creases. Allah, Allah. Yeah. Um, again, this will. What do you think? What do you think? How much? How many thousand? How, this is masterpiece. Tell me. <clears throat> okay. Well, well, given the fact that these flaws will, uh -huh. again, detract from the value of the piece. Uh -huh. um, I would like to give an estimate of maybe, I guess, one, maybe two... Thousand dollar? One or thousand dollar? Oh, no, 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 sir. No, sir. Uh, one or two dollars, actually. Get the hell out of this issue. will get done to Lem, I'm going away. Right. Well, Vertuhi, you seem to have brought a wonderful piece to the roadshow today. Thank you. Uh, could you tell me anything about the piece? Well, it belonged to my great-grandfather in Beirut. He was an antiques dealer for many years, and when he passed away, he gave it to my, his daughter, my grandmother, who always said it was her favorite piece in the shop. Then, when she moved to the United States, she brought the vase with her. It's been in our family ever since. So it's become the family heirloom? Yes, it has. Could you tell me anything specific on the piece? Have you had it appraised? Uh, no. I was hoping you could help me with that. 
Well, I bet I can. This is a Chinese crackle glaze vase made in the early 20th century, probably before World War I. You can see the inlay on the porcelain right here made by the fine Asian brushes. And if you note the detail done on the base of it, it makes bring, brings great value to it. Um, these dragons here that surround the vase uh, reflect the Ming Dynasty. They don't actually add any value, but aren't made to deceive the buyer at all. Uh, do you know how much this could be worth? Uh, no. Um, well, I would say conservatively, this is worth 300 to 500 dollars. Oh my god. Sweet. Well? W well what? Cash or check? W um, wh what do you mean? Come on, how are you going to pay me? We, we don't, we just appraise the items here at the Roadshow. We don't actually buy them from you. Oh. Well, I'm sure you could go sell this at very many appropriate auctions. Yeah, I can, but this is Fresno. None of the gobbies here are going to give me $500 for this vase. Maybe you should do some geographical research before you get our hopes up. Um, well, I'm still glad that you brought it to the Roadshow today. Yeah, whatever. Well, folks, that's all the time we have for today. Tune in next week. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where do you get that uh, jackass man? Oh, he doesn't know nothing. Uh, he doesn't know nothing. Appraiser, what appraiser? No, you tell me this masterpiece. How much, how many thousand? Huh? Uh, sir, um, I'm just, I'm not an appraiser, I'm just the host, um, but, uh... Good, send the good, good out Um, well, uh, I guess that's all the time we have, and we'll see you later. Uh, tune in next week. <laughs>